Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here with Weather in 5, 5 Days in 5 Minutes, brought to you by Tempest, by Weatherflow. We get the revolutionary Tempest weather system and join the fastest-growing observing network on the planet. Uh, the link uh, to Tempest is on the description to this video, and then, uh, you can make any purchases there. You get an extra 10% off if you use the coupon code Joe and Joe Weather Show. And also brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, 631-756-1125 for the best prices anywhere for your landscaping needs. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. We're looking at what's going to be a chilly start to the week, obviously. Uh, you'll notice it today. Temperatures in eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England will be pretty much in the 50s all day. And as we look at the satellite, uh, it's one of those uh, setups that you usually see from time to time in the winter where the mornings start out nice and then you get clouds that develop and maybe even some spotty precipitation. And I think that's where we're going with this today and tomorrow. As long as we're under inf in the influence of this upper low to the north, there's these little spokes that are rotating around it. Uh, and when that happens, you get clouds that develop, especially in inland areas. And again, that chance for some spotty showers. Meanwhile, there's moisture along the Gulf Coast, nothing really impressive, but uh, most of this is all going straight east because the blocky nature of the pattern is suppressing everything to the south now. And initially, we're going to get a storm system that is going to move across the south and try to move northward late this week. It probably won't have a whole lot of success. And then a stronger storm is going to follow for Sunday, out of which we could get some heavy rains and maybe some thunderstorms out of that one. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Meantime, you can see on the satellite loop this morning, uh, the clouds from the southern moisture are kind of clipping southern New Jersey down into Delaware and the Delmarva Peninsula. We've got clouds around the Great Lakes. That's part of the instability. So in between, uh, we're starting that day with, uh, today with sunshine. Again, watch for some clouds to develop as we go through the late morning and through the afternoon hours. Uh, at the moment on the radar, uh, not a whole lot happening. You've got patches here and there around the Great Lakes in upstate New York and over into Maine and even off the Delaware coast. Uh, but that rotation again, you get those smokes that come around uh, and you'll start to see a little bit of development uh, going forward. The uh, Storm Prediction Center uh, has only a marginal risk today in central and south Florida. Now, the risk for severe weather this uh, for the next several days will really be across the deep south, parts of the deep south, uh, and also uh, in, in Florida. Uh, Tuesday, we're looking at a slight risk from Texas northeastward into southern Colorado. Wednesday, we're looking at a slight risk again in Texas and then pushing into Louisiana and Arkansas, and also again, central and south florida and you start to see the risk for general thunderstorm activity spreading across the south but nothing in the northeast nothing in the mid-atlantic and we are uh, going to also uh, look at the possibility of some uh, heavy rain late uh, 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 later in the weekend i, I don't think we're going to see too much uh, going forward other than whatever these spotty showers produce today and tomorrow which shouldn't be much but uh, the seven-day rainfall forecast is back-end loaded now, so we're talking about an inch and a half to maybe as much as two and a half inches from central Pennsylvania down the uh, Appalachians into North Carolina. Also some big rains in Oklahoma and South Kansas where they need it. Uh, coastal Carolinas, actually for the first time in a while, uh, it's fairly quiet in the Pacific Northwest and most of the Southwest is on the dry side. So uh, we're in this blocking pattern uh, which is not uncommon in the spring. What we're seeing basically is the last of any cold air in the Arctic regions getting dispersed. We've got a cold flow from Canada. You see that upper low that's over Lake Huron tomorrow, today and tomorrow, and even on Wednesday. And as that pulls up, another uh, short wave starts to come down in that northern part of the jet. The southern part of the jet first system gets somewhat suppressed, but then we have this strong trough that's going to form uh, late this week and this weekend with a deep upper low in the Ohio Valley. And that's going to, I think, uh, set us up for a, a solid rain event next weekend. So we'll take a look here at what this all looks like uh, out on the surface. So uh, for most folks today, you probably, other than clouds, won't really see too much. You see where the showers uh, are being indicated well to the north and west. Uh, it's it's chilly all the way down into the southeast. 
Uh, that gets reinforced over the next couple of days. Uh, to the west on Wednesday, there's a low there in Texas that pushes eastward. We have nice high pressure overhead. There's actually a weak little system that comes through Wednesday with maybe a couple of showers late in the day. Uh, but I don't expect that to amount to much. But that'll allow another high to build in. Now, here's where it starts to get a little dicey toward the end of the week. The high goes up quickly into eastern Canada. So we'll start to set up with an onshore flow on Thursday. That'll probably begin to bring some clouds in. The rain from this first system gets close on Friday. Moving into southern Pennsylvania and southern New Jersey should get suppressed somewhat to the south but it's still close enough where we're going to have that onshore flow. And this is where we have this sort of gloom and doom type scenario with a lot of clouds and just gray conditions. Uh, rain Saturday morning in southern New Jersey from that first low that goes out. And then you see the rotation with the low in the Great Lakes. And this is going to pull up Gulf moisture. It's going to pull in Atlantic moisture. And that's when we get into what could be a potentially heavy rain and a rather gusty southeast wind uh, event for later Sunday, Sunday night into early Monday morning as that front swings on through. And then we're going to have to deal with the leftovers early next week. If you're looking for 80 degree plus weather, uh, or even if you're look, we're looking to get some of those 90s back, uh, trust me, that is not going to happen uh, anytime soon. We're going to talk about this at length, of course, tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show. And that will be coming up at 7.35 p.m. Eastern time. So we'll see you then.